okay guys i just want to do a little unboxing here i received this in the mail this i'm expecting some fabrics i ordered a few different fabrics so yeah i can't wait to open it and see the fabrics uh, this is the first fabric is cotton as you might know i love working with cotton um, it's a beautiful print i can't wait to make some headbands out of that then i got this lovely beautiful satin so pretty very pretty yeah this beautiful satin um fabric and then i also got it in red just beautiful it's a bit of a I think it's a uh, satin crepe I think it's a bit more thick and the back is a bit different than nice I got this this is jersey cotton you know it's stretchy I want to start working with jersey because I think it's, it's, it's perfect for headbands I never worked with jersey material but there's a bit oh this is a beautiful print I'm all about the roses in this new collection or whatever you want to call it and then look at this look at this so pretty this um, cotton poplin this was quite cheap as well but the fabric is still looks lovely so it's my daughter and then I also got this lovely fabric. Um, I think it's called Tensor. It's quite uh, light and um, you know pretty. Doesn't have much stretch. Uh, and this is I wanted to try that, and I want to create more headbands with this material because it's eco-friendly as well, and I love that about it. Maybe create some scrunchies with there, but yeah, maybe headband as well. But look at this print, so pretty, so lovely. And then last but not least, I've got two meters of this. It's the same with the other one, but in, in red. I've got two meters of it. I might create some. Uh, outfit as well with there it's just so pretty i just love roses um yeah for some reason i'm just i love roses to be honest so yeah and then last thing i got it's just a sample uh, this is jersey again jersey cotton i just wanted to see how i just yeah i just wanted to see how it, it looks like I'll probably make a headband out of it to be honest um, probably a cute actually that's my little fabric hole and I can't wait to start working in, with this and I will take you with me hi guys we are back today is um, what day is today yeah today is Wednesday and I want to be productive you know and produce some create some lovely products I mean you know some lovely headbands and scrunchies I've got a little plan on there's my notebook I just write down my ideas and stuff and I I'm gonna make some scrunchy bundles uh, I feel like bundles will sell a bit easier than just selling things by itself because people feel that they save money yes so I'm just gonna make some uh, headbands uh, with the, this new jersey and these cottons here and uh, also make some scrunchies with this lovely satin and uh, with this lovely fabric 
it's a bit like cotton but a bit more lightweight it's called tenso i believe it's quite eco-friendly and that's why i got that i'm gonna create a headband and scrunchy set as well i can imagine it's gonna look it's gonna be lovely a scrunchy and headband so yeah first thing i need to do is cut all of that you know different sizes yeah i need different sizes and you know for the headband scrunchies and all that so yeah let's get cutting my daughter is awake from her nap just sitting quietly there for the moment babe. so i just need to you know i've got different measurements for every you know headband like this one is quite stretchy so uh, yeah for different measurements that i keep in this notebook so i'm referring back to that now uh yeah i can't wait to try this i think it's so lovely like the print so pretty like oh, i just love it Hi guys, yeah, today is Thursday. Um, I cut up most of the you know scrunchies and the fabrics and all that. I started sewing some you know scrunchies and stuff, but um, I could barely do any work yesterday because my daughter was very fussy and she would not allow me to work. She would jump on the table and just try and uh, everything. So yeah, uh, I haven't done much today. I hope today she will let me do some more work. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm at. I'm just gonna start sewing now. Um, done some mistakes on a few scrunchies because I was holding her at the same time and sewing at the same time which I don't recommend but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do you know um let's start sewing right should be making better decisions with herself as well as her body that's not what we're thinking you gotta understand that right but when we say we with you <laughs> Oh, 
As you can see for this, our collection is all about roses. I just love roses, to be honest. I just love, love the design. Of, you know, I just love roses. Uh, scrunchy tubes I'm just separating them I'm just separating them um, so the smaller ones I'm gonna I'm using a 1.3 millimeter um, how do you call it elastic for the bigger ones I'm using a two uh, well 1.3 centimeter and for the bigger ones I'm using two centimeter I'm gonna cut my elastic now so that's the two uh, so I cut about 22 centimeter of it Again, she's like giving us space in the air shot and five. Sonic five of these. Like check on him and she kind of embraces it, breaks him from behind and he's just like really fucked off and you know continues to say these things about her. I'm and gonna cut bed, another right, two pieces of elastic um, for my baby headband. Um, so I'm gonna start using the two centimeter is a bit more softer for babies than the 2.5 is that 2.5 or 3 yeah that's 2.5 so um that's about 15 or 12 centimeter for babies i've got three headbands to make so i'm gonna cut three of these when it comes to labels um 
I'm thinking to I've created a sample of a different label that I can use for scrunchie so it's gonna be like just one you know just iris baby studio like that so it can be smaller kind of and then be more square and thinner on there because it's sticking out a bit too much for my liking you know for headbands i don't mind i always put it at the back of the elastic and it looks lovely that's kind of my thing that's you know kind of my brand the way i put my label on the headphones um, but when it comes to the scrunchie i want something a bit more smaller so so yeah so now i'm just gonna cut 1.3 centimeter elastic for the smaller scrunchies so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, I'm not going to put labels yet because I want to order them uh, before. That will be the last step, which I'm not, it's not going to happen today, basically. Of course, I need to order them, you know, different. So let me just cut the elastic. I need 10, four, three for now. Three. And that night, you know, we sat around the campfire, uh, everyone was drinking. Yeah, after that, I'm just going to sit on my sofa and just get the elastic through the scrunchies. Um, what, if anything, did you do with Mr. Depp? Yeah, my daughter is asleep, so I'm just trying to do as much as I can. Uh, then so, I will uh, start sewing the headbands or maybe I should do that now and, um, before she wakes she up and let me just finish with the scrunchies first and then go ahead with the headbands So with my bigger uh, scrunchies, you know, because they are thick, uh, I can't really tie a knot, so I have to sew it to keep it in place. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to take that to the sewing machine now. I'm just obsessed with this pattern, this rose design. Oh, I just love it. So I've got different, different um, sizes. So I'm gonna do like a, you know, bundle deals. I've got this one too. So pretty, so beautiful, so suitable for spring. Um, yeah so i've just i've just finished kind of with my scrunchies i mean you know the label is the only thing that's left to be added and close the seam uh, but yeah apart from that as i said before i need to order the labels much smaller labels and then now i'm gonna start with the headbands Yeah, 
Stay good. This is called karidaki. It's a Greek sweet. It's been in my fridge for like two years. But I think it's actually because it's dipped in syrup, so I think the sugar kind of maintains it, you know, it tastes okay, so. So anyway, I've done my jersey headphones, so cute. I've done the one adult and one for babies, you know. Um, and then I've done this as well, this design, jersey, again, love it, so cute, very comfortable, actually, um, yeah, I think I need to change my method, you know, when, here, yeah, when I close the, the last thing, because here, it's quite bulky, and I don't really like, like I don't know if it's just me like because I know it's there and it kind of bothers me it's not really uncomfortable but just me thinking about it you know it's a bit bulky there and same here because it's because of the thick fabric so I think I need to change my method for my thickest fabrics with the cotton clean I don't have any issue you know but uh, yeah it's still the kid though but yeah anyway uh, let me carry on sewing my uh, cotton properly now and uh, I will start with this one this one's quite thin it's quite you know lightweight so I assume there won't be any bulkiness there so yeah Headbands. I saw all the headbands. Yeah, not sewn together. I will cut them. But yeah, that was just an easy way, you know, to just sew, 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 sew. You know, um, sew, sew. So now I just need to do the elastic bit, like uh, the fabric that goes at the back. So this is what I'm doing now. So what I do, I place the label kind of in the middle of the, you know, this piece of fabric. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. 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 Beep, I wanted to show you how to take pictures as well, you know, I want to show you the whole process, you know, make the product, taking pictures and all that, but I won't do it today, so I'm very tired, and I'm doing a night shift as well, I don't think she's gonna let me sleep before I go, but, you know, um, but anyway, so now I'm just trying to, um, Η Χριστίνα είναι πολύ πληροφορική, είναι λίγο απόμακρη και το σώρε μάθος είναι για πιο μεγάλη. Look at this headband, isn't it the cutest? 
This is the kiddish. Are you the kiddish? Are you the kiddish? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Wow. Oh, I'm so obsessed. Look how beautiful these are. They are all special in their own way. Beautiful. We are not finished yet. Uh, the scrunchy, but you can just see there. It's almost finished anyway. And this satin uh, scrunchy, so nice and thick. You can tell it's, you know, it's quality fabric. It's not cheap one, you know. Hi guys and welcome back. Okay. So I've started attaching the labels and the scrunchies. Um just wanna show you quickly my new labels for the scrunchies. That's what I'm gonna be using only for the scrunchies. So basically you just cut, you just cut it and then you just fold it and yeah you just saw it on the scrunchie which i've started doing already i i like it better than the previous one because it's more cute it's smaller you don't want anything hanging out too much from your scrunchie so yeah i think i really really like it can do us so cute um, you know very cute and pretty you know you won't you're not able to see too much you know you won't be sticking out too much from your you know from your scrunchy so that's what I'm doing right now I've got a um, five be more to do the way I do it to be to make it easier for me so I fold it I fold it and I put the clip here so all I need to do is just insert insert it inside the seam rather than just doing it by hand if I'm holding it and I'm trying to put it in you know the label will be moving and won't be you know um, straight and all that I'm just going to shoot it so anyway uh, yeah, that's it. sometimes they say it's too sometimes I use a pin as well as you can see I just clipped it on the fabric so it won't be moving around and just need to make sure it's straight everywhere okay yeah that's it <laughs> To check if the seams are closed properly, it's no gap. Okay, set. Yeah, I finished with the scrunchies. I, you know, stitched the label and all of them and all that. So now I just want to show you how I'm taking pictures of, um, you know, of my headphones and scrunchies. So I use a professional camera, but you know, you don't have to take pictures with a professional camera. I'm just being extra, to be honest. And uh, especially if you don't know how to, I think, where is my battery? Yeah, if you don't know how to use a professional camera, then you know, there's no point using it. Um, you can simply, simply use your you know iphone or phone phones are now very very good you know the quality and um and you can edit the pictures after on an app there i've got this app called InShot. very nice app very cheap it's like two pound a month something like that to you know um 
you know to, to use it it has many many good features nice filters everything it's so nice so you can just use that you know um, but yeah and also when it comes to lighting I normally just use natural light I will normally shoot earlier in the day where there's more light but you know I was had stuff to do so yeah um, so yeah when I'm taking pictures I prefer to use one kind of background one theme so usually I take pictures on this wooden table I just it's nice you know it has a nice um, aesthetic and uh, yeah I'm just used to it so every picture is good to have the same kind of background so when someone looks at your shop if they see the picture with the same background they kind of know that this is one of your products but anyway um, yeah just find something nice background or something like that as you can see here that's what I do obviously I'm just using that will be the frame if nothing else will show so um yeah I'm just need to set up my camera and take pictures Okay, I don't have an extra memory card so I'm just gonna give you a few okay. tips um, so when you take pictures take from different angles uh, by the window it's the best lighting you know make sure the window is on the side not uh, at the front of the camera because otherwise the, the picture the, your item will look dark and yeah also take different angles as I said from the top from the side uh, give a close-up you know you want to show your the material the, the design um, you know a close-up on the pattern on the labels and all that uh, to show the, the stitching and all that you know so yeah and at the end you can make like a nice you know composition something like that you know uh, maybe add a flower or something like that just make it look nicer but the most important is to show your item in many different pictures different angles you know detail uh, close-ups and all that okay guys i have edited um you know the pictures i wanted um I use Photoshop for that. If you're using an app like InShot, it will be much easier to use than using Photoshop. I use, yeah, I use Photoshop, but you need to know a few things to, you know, to use Photoshop. So yeah, I've got here the pictures, you know, um, that I've edited, you know. I don't do much I just you know fix the colors a little bit you know um, you know fixing the contrast the brightness oh hello and uh, so you you know the pop colors can pop out a little bit more and and all that yeah if my computer decides to open the picture so you see a few examples you know So anyway, yep, these are some pictures, we're happy with it. And then um, I'll go back to my Etsy, this one here, and you add a new listing. And then, you know, I obviously add the pictures that, um, where is it? So I'm just gonna choose the pictures I need. You know, you can only have ten. So yeah, I could have you know this scrunched. That'll be my primary picture because you have all the sizes of scrunchies you need. Um, 
you know, and then just the scrunchy separately. You should you show the bigger one, the smaller one, you know, and all that. Um, uh, so yeah, so this one is coming here as well. Um, yeah, I want to include more pictures with you know me wearing the uh, scrunchy, but obviously, it's a bit difficult to picture why you wear the scrunchy. So I'm trying to get my daughter, stepdaughter to do that. So yeah, it's good to have a model wearing, you know, this country for people to see how it looks in the hair. But anyway, I can't do that right now. So yeah. You can add a video as well. I usually add a video as well. Uh, so yeah, I just need to put the title, description of the item and all that. So let me do this right now. Today's a different day, so but yeah so i've just updated my etsy shop i've put some new products i think my daughter wants to poop so she complains but anyway um yeah as you can see i've got pictures and um i've got the description and everything the title and yeah and good basically good luck from here you know um i don't make many sales recently so that's the process of me making a product from yeah making it to uploading it into the to my etsy shop and i, I hope you find this video useful many new products as you can see everything high quality beautiful you know and all that and um yeah that was the video for today i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned you've learned something you know and i um i will see you in the next one bye for now say bye 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 All night long, yeah. We dance with our razor tongues and all day long.